think in listening to him, I mean, overreacting is also okay because it's part, it's part of a conversation. One bad spin, one good, ba good spin, one spin for me, one spin for you. And, and so overreacting sometimes, getting angry or saying this is a problem or saying stop it or even bringing up Benetton or saying the Benetton ads were terrible when they came out or were racist or whatever. It was a big uh, debate when the Benetton ads actually came out too, just to bring that. Another problem that I wanted to mention was the, this myth of newness that I think Emiratis feel different people have, that everything here is new, it's the new industry, it's okay, let it happen. And that's not really true. Um, things were happening before a long time ago. This place had, you know, I mean this place was actually bombed by the British, different areas close by the Portuguese, there were cities here, there were, there were great seafarers, there was a guy called Ibn Majid. Let's, let's, let's understand some of those real historical facts about this place and stop giving this myth of newness, I think, and that's a real issue for me. Like your country is going to get attacked, you will feel sensitive, you know, or then you're not passionate, you're not loyal to your country, you're not patriotic, and so on. But what I think is that let's use the example from the independent, you know, I think it was the independent, that article, The Dark Side of Dubai. Mm -hmm. What I would have wanted to see is an Emirati writer or even an expat living in Dubai, writing back on the bright side of Dubai, you know, just to let them know, okay, fine, you know, there's the goods and bads in every society. Yeah. Second story happened to me in Saudi when I was running the uh, Saudi operation. And I remember that uh, at the end of uh, 97, we didn't have a single Saudi national working for us. And it was a point of tremendous frustration. Because there we were working in a country of so many millions. And there wasn't a single one to raise the voice of Saudi or to set us straight or to tell us, you know what, you bunch of uh, ignorance, this is the way it is done. That's the way you represent it. This is the way you talk about it. And if you look now at the Saudi operation, not only does it have many Saudi males, but a lot of Saudi females, and we're finally able to capture the nuances, the genuine insight about Saudi society. And everybody is resonating with that because suddenly the brands are able to inch a little bit closer to the society. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that a lot of people are saying Emiratis because that's what we are. We're not local, so that's the wrong terminology. So very good on that. Um, second thing for, is it Elizabeth Sullivan from Lear Burnett? And for you, Kamal, um, Ahmed Al Hashimi, I don't know if you've heard of him. He's in all the Zabil investment ads. He's Emirati. There's plenty of people who are actually on television right now, and they're willing to be photographed and videotaped, you know? So you need to tap into that market, you know? Speak to Ali Ashanti. She's got like 600 people on her Facebook list, you know? She can give you like a whole list. I mean, speak to these people. Speak to Rami. Speak to all these people. They've got a lot of people. Now, with regards to the journalist in the back who was talking about Dubai bashing, I think every single journalist who comes from the outside or countries that come from the outside don't realize uh, that we've grown in such a short period of time. This is a threat to other countries. This is a threat to them because they think, oh my God, this is competition. All the business is coming here. All the real estate is coming here. I think a lot of the attacks are not on the UAE. It's mostly on Dubai. Now, how we choose to tackle that is through, obviously, our mediums, and our media needs to improve. I think, obviously, you know, papers like the National, you know, advertisements from Leo Burnett, you know, people like Rami, Alias Photography, I mean, all these things are actually building up. The only thing I'm just scared of, and I don't know, I'm, this is a question that I'm going to pose out, after we finish this session, are we actually going to take something out of this and do something about it, or is this just another discussion?